Hi, hope you are doing well. Welcome to this session on teaching and learning English. Today I am going to take up a story from NCERT's English textbook for class 10. The title of the book is First Flight, Unit 6 and the name of the story is The 100 Dresses Part 2. In our previous session, we had concluded two sections of part 2. Today we will begin with the third section. Before we begin with the story, let us recapitulate. What does Mary think hard about? Can you tell? Please write down your answers. Then you can share it with us on our CIT and CRT email ID. You can share it with your teacher. You can share it with your friends. So the question is, what does Medi think hard about? Medi thinks hard about her behavior. She wants to apologize to Wanda Petronaski. She wants to say sorry to her. She also reflects on her behavior. She takes a decision that from now on she would not stand by any bully. She would speak up against the bully. So th these were the things that Maddie was thinking about. There is another question. What important decision does she come to? The decision was this only that even if it amounts to losing Peggy's friendship, she is ready to speak up. So she was reflecting on her behavior. We can see Mary's personality was developing. Let's begin with the story now. Have you opened your books on page 77? On Saturday, Mary spent the afternoon with Peggy. Do you remember the first part? The story began with Monday. On Monday, Wanda was not there. On Tuesday, she was still not there but nobody missed her. On Wednesday, they had the competition. But today is Saturday. On Saturday, Maddie spent the afternoon with Peggy. They were writing a letter to Wanda Petronaski. Maybe this is what they have decided. Let us write a letter and to tell her that they are sorry. It was just a friendly letter telling about the contest and telling Wanda she had won. They told how pretty her drawings were and they asked her if she liked where she was living and if she liked her new teacher. They had meant to say they were sorry but it ended up with their just writing a friendly letter. The kind they would have written to any good friend and they signed it with lots of X's for love. You see how the letter got changed. Mary just wanted to apologize and appreciate her work. But when both Peggy and Mary sat down together, it turned out to be a friendly letter only. But never mind, even a friendly letter is a good gesture. Let's appreciate that. They mailed the letter to Boggins Heights, writing, Please forward. On the envelope, days passed. There was no answer, but the letter did not come back. You see, they had sent the letter to the previous address with these two words written, please forward. And somebody who was staying over there must have forwarded it to the new address. But we don't know yet. But the letter did not come back. So maybe Wanda had received it. That's nice. Perhaps she was so hurt and angry, she was not going to answer. Do you think Wanda was like that? Whatever we have been told about Wanda does not reflect that Wanda was a person who would get angry on anybody. Yes, she was hurt, definitely. You could not blame her. 
Weeks went by and still Wanda did not answer. Peggy had begun to forget the whole business. Peggy was cool about it. Mary put herself to sleep at night making speeches about Wanda, defending her from great crowds of girls who were trying to tease her with how many dresses have you got and before Wanda could press her lips together in the tight line the way she did before answering Mary would cry out stop then everybody would feel ashamed the way she used to feel. You see Mary was really upset that shows Mary could not sleep at night and at night she would you know repeat in her mind the speech that she would make if anybody would try to bully Wanda and she would tell the crowd stop don't ask her this question how many dresses do you have Wanda. Does this happen with you also? Sometimes if something has gone wrong it plays in your mind and you you know prepare yourself that tomorrow morning I would say this, I would say this or that. We all do that. Maybe tomorrow morning the situation is not there. This is what has happened here. Wanda is no longer part of the school. She has left the school but Mary can't get over what they had done to Wanda. Now it was Christmas time and there was snow on the ground. Christmas bells and a small tree decorated the classroom. On the last day of school before the holidays, the teacher showed the class a letter she had received that morning. There is another letter now. So the teacher asked, do you remember Wanda Petronaski, the gifted little artist who won the drawing contest? Well, she has written me and I am glad to know where she lives because now I can send her the medal. I want to read her letter to you. The class sat up with a sudden interest and listened intently. So now they were all interested in Wanda Petronaski. And these two girls were actually interested in Wanda Petronaski. Maybe this letter was in response to their letter. So let us look at the letter. Dear Miss Mason, how are you and room 13? Please tell the girls they can keep those 100 dresses because in my new house I have a 100 new ones all lined up in my closet. I would like that girl Peggy to have the drawing of the green dress with red trimmings and her friend Mary to have the blue one. For Christmas I miss that school and my new teacher does not equalize with you. Merry Christmas to you and everybody. Yours truly Venda Petronaski. What a beautiful letter. There is no expression of any hurt or anger. What a nice person Wanda is. And on top of that she has asked her teacher to give two sketches to Peggy and Maddie. The green and the red one to Peggy and the other one blue one to Maddie. If you remember this episode took place in part one of the story where Peggy asked her can you describe the dress? So she says there is a green with red sash and there is a blue one. She had described the, these two dresses to Peggy and Mattie and in her drawings also she had made those dresses and she requests her teacher to give these two sketches to Peggy and Mattie. On the way home from school Mary and Peggy held their drawings very carefully. All the houses had wreaths and holly in the windows. Outside the grocery store hundreds of Christmas trees were stacked. 
and in the window candy peppermint sticks and cornucopias of shiny transparent paper were stung. The air smelled like Christmas and the light shining everywhere reflected different colors on the snow. Look at this phrase air smelled like Christmas. This shows that the festive spirit was there all around. We many a times use this expression. Let us continue with the story. Boy said Peggy, this shows she really likes us. It shows she got our letter and this is her way of saying that everything is all right and that is that. Peggy has finished the matter. Once again she is trying to tell herself that she did nothing wrong. She was not bad towards Wanda. She says that she has gifted her her drawings. That means she is not angry with us and that is that. That means she does not want to think about Wanda anymore. I hope so said Mary sadly. But Mary was a sensitive girl. She said I hope so. Probably Wanda would never forget this experience because what you experience in your childhood it stays with you. It has an impact on you. One has to really overcome it with great effort. Mary felt sad because she knew she would never see the little tight lipped Polish girl again and could not ever really make things right between them. She went home and she pinned the drawing over a torn piece in the pink flowered wallpaper in the bedroom. The shabby room came alive with the brilliancy of the colors. Mary sat down on her bed and looked at the drawing. She had stood by and said nothing, but Wanda had been nice to her anyway. Cornucopias decorative containers usually full of flowers and fruits. Tears blurred her eyes and she gazed for a long time at the picture. Mary could not control herself. She was feeling so sad that tears came into her eyes. Then hastily she rubbed her eyes and she studied it intently. What did she study? The drawing. She looked at the drawing very carefully. The colors in the dress were so vivid that she had scarcely noticed the face and head of the drawing. But it looked like her, Mary. It really looked like her own mouth. So that means Wanda had actually drawn the dress for Mary. She had drawn the face of Mary and then she had drawn the dress. Why it really looked like her own self? Wanda had really drawn this for her. Excitedly, she ran over to Peggy's. She went to Peggy's house. Peg, she said, let me see your picture. What is the matter? asked Peggy. As they clattered up to her room where Wanda's drawing was lying face down on the bed. Mary carefully raised it. Look, she drew you. That's you, Mag Peggy, she exclaimed. And the head and face of the picture did look like Peggy. What did I say? said Peggy. She must have really liked us anyway. Yes, she must have, agreed Mary. And she blinked away the tears that came every time she thought of Wanda standing alone in that sunny spot in the schoolyard, looking stolidly over at the group of laughing girls after she had walked off, after she had said, sure, a hundred of them all lined up. With this, we come to the end of the story, but it tells a lot about the three characters that are there in the story, about Wanda, about Peggy, about Maddie. And the writer ends the story with this line, a hundred of them all lined up. How beautiful. Let us discuss a few comprehension questions here. What did the girls write to Wanda? 
the girls wanted to write an apology letter if you remember in the first section and the second section of the story but actually it became a friendly letter they started asking about her they praised her drawings they told her that she had won the medal and it became a friendly letter but never mind a friendly letter is also a good gesture did they get a reply they did not get a personal reply but wanda replied to the teacher because she wanted to gift two sketches to peggy and madi who was mo more anxious for a reply madi was more anxious how do you know because madi would think about wanda every night she could not sleep she actually wanted to apologize to wanda so this is how we come to know how did the girls know that wanda liked them even though they had teased her actually wanda did not hate peggy and matty she was a very warm hearted girl she gave two of her sketches as gifts to these girls you know these two girls would ask her every day how many dresses do you have wanda and she would tell them a hundred dresses all lined up in the closet and they would ask her to explain and she had explained two dresses and those two dresses were made keeping in mind these two girls so wanda finally gave her two sketches to peggy and maddy let us discuss a few global questions over here why do you think wanda's family moved to a different city there can be various reasons to it maybe for work there were better opportunities for her father over there so they decided to move but the reason that is described in the story is that the children were not very comfortable in the school as we know from wanda's experience that she was bullied by peggy and matty they would make fun of her every now and then by asking her this question how many dresses do you have wanda and wanda's reply would be i have 100 dresses all lined up in my closet next question do you think life there was going to be different for their family in the new city you have to imagine now the writer does not discuss this question with us let us think beyond the text now what do you think please jot down your answers you can share your answers with us on our cit and cert email id please share this with your teacher as well as with your friends we can hope that their life would be better over there being a big city better opportunities for work good schools children from different parts of the world so therefore no bullying so we hope that the things would be better for wanda next question medi thought her silence was as bad as peggy's teaching was she right yes she was right that's her reflection and as i have shared with you that we need to reflect on our actions we need to reflect on situations we need to critically analyze the situations and then probably we'll come out with better answers so she reflected and she came to the conclusion that her behavior was not up to the mark she was giving support to the bully and not to wanda third question peggy says i never thought she had the sense to know we were making fun is it right what do you think wanda was certainly not dumb she was a creative person 
Art was her forte. She was learning through art. So, she was not dumb. There are evidences for this. So, can we say that she was dumb? No, she was certainly not dumb. She understood everything. Therefore, she shared her bullying experience with her parents and her father had written a letter to the teacher that children make fun of their names and they are going to ship to a new city. Now, next question, what important decision did Maggie take? Did she take any decision? Yes, she did. Why did she have to think hard to do so? Because she was afraid, she was a coward. She did not have the courage to rise up to the occasion. She could not speak and tell Peggy that what she was doing, doing was wrong. So, she took an important decision that from now onwards, she is not going to let Peggy bully anyone. Why do you think Wanda gave Maddie and Peggy the drawings of the dresses? Why are they surprised? Now, once again, we have to think about it. It is an open ended question. So, why do you think she gave the dresses? A, we come to know a lot about Wanda. She was a gentle soul. She was a nice person she was kind, she was a creative person and a creative person can never hurt anyone. And because these two girls would ask her how many dresses do you have, can you describe the dresses. So, she gave those two dresses as specimens of her work and she was happy to share her sketches with those girls. So, why are they surprised? because they never expected this. They thought Wanda would be really angry. Actually, they had not understood the personality of Wanda. Next question is, do you think Wanda really thought the girls were teasing her? Why or why not? Yes, she was a creative and a sensitive girl and a creative person is always sensitive to the surroundings. She knew that she was being teased. She knew that she was being bullied, but she did not utter a word because she did not want to hurt anyone's feelings. Hmm? So, she was a very mature person. I hope you have enjoyed learning this story. With this, we have come to the end of this story. I want you to read this story on your own, enjoy reading it. If you come across any difficult words or phrases, please look up the dictionary. Find out the meaning and the usage of these words in the context of the story. In my next session, we will do the activities. Till then, happy reading, thank you.